Well, pull out your pumpkin spice and put on your flannel shirt, girls. It feels like five, y'all. I wonder if this classifies as Uber Eats. Delivery service. Just got back from uh, the elevator in Dyer. Robert's putting his third van on that truck, he's saying. <clears throat> We're fixing to move way over there. It's the same field, but you gotta, you gotta haul it out. This part of the farm was no-tailed. As you can tell, it's so super steep. It's uh, got a lot of fall, so we did not work this area up. Robert said he couldn't tell any difference on the yield. had enough moisture to work to, to melt the planter track in that's what kind of ears we're shelling see it pollinated and filled out and everything right it just didn't get enough hit this corn and grain field The very first year we worked this, I got my sprayer stuck right here. I had just filled up with water. I come around that bend and tried to cross this. 
and go up that hill and boy was that mistake if i can find it i'll include a picture back end sunk down there front wheel was just scratching couldn't go anywhere robert had to bring a tractor all the way over here to get me which we had to have it over here I, anyways get any idea how steep that hill is looking at it right there all right he's bubbled up i need to go get the buggy when he gets those two rows shelled off there he'll uh put that corn on this buggy and that'll be enough for a truckload Make another trip to Dyer. Didn't take them long, knock this two or three acres off. <coughs> then he's gonna jump across the ditch. Slowly but surely getting there. Had uh, 135 acres left when we started this morning. Hopefully when we finish this day, there will be 40 40 off of that and we'll be down below 100 acres I hope it's probably the toughest of the ground over there but the corn don't look bad I was, it's, I'm really surprised I thought this corn was going to make absolutely nothing maybe we're getting old farm to, maybe we're getting old farm to come around it's been in desperate need of some attention it's a big old farm. It's one of the biggest farms we rent. Hope we can hold on to it and get the yield up there where she belongs and make a good farm out of it. Make me a lot of money and make the landlord a lot of money. I guess everybody finally got to start a shelling pool for us find a little better corn or something. That dang combine messing up those three days really put a damper on stuff. If it hadn't broke down, we would be dang near and probably be finishing up today. I'm hoping maybe we can finish Saturday. We'll see. At least get finished over at the lake by Saturday and move home. Uh, I had to stop and get a little go-go juice. That's what she was. That's just one tank. This old Sterling got some big old tanks on it. Put 121 gallons in it and they wasn't full to the top. That was when the... Uh, that was when the nozzle kicked off. I don't know how full this tank is. I may be glad I stopped and got fuel. My old fuel gauge may have been lying to me. It feels like five, y'all. It does have a little brisk. It does have a little brisk in the air now, much different different feel than it had a couple of weeks ago actually last week let's uh let's get moved up here to the next field 38 acres up there hopefully we can knock it out Then there's another 12 acres over here at the lake. Maybe we can finish it up tomorrow morning. Get our flashers on. <clears throat> and maybe we'll get moved back home to Dyer tomorrow afternoon. And 
maybe finish up shelling corn Saturday. Today is Thursday, September 29th. We're leaving the Hopkins farm, as we call this the Hopkins barn farm because the old cattle barn's down there. What I like about field view is they got this automatic boundary detection and you pull in a new field, all you gotta do is just go up there and tell it and make it active and you're ready to go. Here we go, I'll bring y'all back in a minute or two. I wonder if this classifies as Uber Eats. Delivery service. We gotta go through the woods right here to, or I think there's five or six acres back here and it's off to itself, but we gotta go through this pretty narrow gap here. Left this big hill. Need, get the, need to get the claw over here and knock some limbs back. Help a lot. Help to knock off this grove of trees right here. Up. Something in there got a little warm. What it is, I do not know. 
so much for getting done this weekend. I figured out why I went down or what happened. Our fit, see that's supposed to attach right there and that's sends hydraulical to your header. Well that fitting broke and uh, yeah. Yeah, it sends, the combine sends all, and it attaches right here, because this is what slows your header up and down. And it looks like this fit and broke. And if it wasn't sending oil to it, or we had some burns go down or something, I hear him, so here he comes. He'll be really, he'll be in a good mood. I don't think that's supposed to do that. I gotta get myself doctored up to make it through another day. <clears throat> I'm a walking pharmacy right now. Corn harvest is about to kill him. <laughs> you hang him right. Corn harvest gets tougher and tougher for old Dylan every year. <clears throat> I am in a better mood than I was yesterday afternoon. We didn't document a lot of yesterday. Uh, we're gonna put the bearings in here at the shop. Uh, put some of it together. And then we'll put the rest of it together over at the combine because that digging thing was heavy yesterday. And I went to some heavy and hot this sun gun got hot it's wonder we didn't burn the combine up which at this point i'm about ready to let it go i think it's getting more trouble this year than it ever has only trouble we had with it last year was uh that sensor that went bad Side, pulley on or half of it the drive sheave and uh, now we split her outside on this is our this is actually a cylinder it cost uh, that little thing cost 800 bucks but now we're gonna screw our cylinder in what this does is when you put pressure on it, it, su it sucks that uh, belt to the outside and making your header turn faster. Now we gotta try to, see if we can get this thing to screw in. Run it in with this a little bit before we get the gun a hold to it. Make sure it's starting properly. After one boat, we got everything but one boat.